Hey, Tommy, it's Sonny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What can I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. My fault. Why do you do this? 